Welcome my friend to another Chef Flash show and today we're doing a delicious apple and bacon cream cheese stuffed pork loin chop. It is so good and I'm serving it with uh, award-winning mashed potatoes. We'll see you around the corner. Okay my friend let's get started on this stuffed pork chop. We're going to do a cream cheese filling for this and so I've, what I've got here is some room temperature and uh we've got some good air conditioning in in this room and so it's still not as soft as i'd like but we're going to make it work we're going to work it and it'll soften up as we work so i'm just taking my spatula and i'm smashing it down so if this ever happens to you it just takes a little more work on the front end but not very long at all so get that going and while i'm smashing i'm going to go ahead and add uh, this is some chopped rosemary, fresh rosemary. Add that in. So I just want to incorporate all of this. And again, it's my story and I'm sticking to it the more we work this. So what I'm doing now is I'm incorporating uh, all the ingredients in my stuffing. What am I stuffing it with? Well, you saw the, the rosemary. I've got a large shallot here. I've got one apple, this happens to be a Granny Smith that I have uh, peeled and diced into small dice and then I have bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? So, so. Anyway, so there is the shallot. So now let's get the apple in. And um, the bacon. Now, I am going to season this with some salt. The bacon does have some salt, but the apples are not salted, so the bacon will help uh, season the apple, but I'm going to put a little bit of salt in for the cream cheese to help bring out that flavor. And then put this in the refrigerator, and when we come back, we're going to be prepping, we're going to prep the um, pork chop by cutting a pocket in it. So. I'll see you in just a moment. So now what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, these are fully brined. I'm going to put a link to that video uh, so you can watch it. It's the same technique, same procedure as the chicken brine I showed in that video. So these are perfectly seasoned all the way through, and they're going to hold more moisture because of the brining. Now, you notice they're not a, a darker uh, reddish color because the brine does pull what uh, is carrying the oxygen that's the hemoglobin it pulls it out into the water and so this is a nice pink color very similar to veal so now i'm going to set my depth by putting my forefinger and my thumb where i if i rotate this around i am not going to pierce now that's pretty close right there so I'll back it off just a little now put it in the center push straight through and now I hit my guard, which is here. I'm all the way back here. I can feel the blade, and I'm just going to gently cut and move it toward this end. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other, other side. I'm not going to worry about this piece of pork here. I'm just going to do this solid piece right here. So I'm getting, I can feel it with my, I'm, right now I'm pressing down, feeling where the knife uh, tip is, and that should be it. So let me reach in, a very nice pocket here. And so I'm reaching all the way to one side, all the way to the other. We have a very nice pocket. So there you go. That's how you cut a pocket and a piece of meat. Uh, this is a beautiful pork loin, center, uh, center cut loin chop, boneless, and it's going to be perfect for stuffing. All right, let me get that out of the fridge. When I bring you around the corner, we're going to start stuffing this thing. See you then. All right, guys, now we are getting ready to uh, stuff the pork chops with our cream cheese, apple, and bacon mixture. So I've got my pork chop. We have just cut the pocket in it. And I am going to, well, I may not need the spoon. Let me see here. That's why I like to chill it down so I can, yeah. Let's just do it with my finger. So we're just going to stuff this in. And as I go in, I'm going to push toward that side there. Get a little bit more. Yep, this is filling up nicely. 
Now, the one thing is I don't want to overstuff this, uh, make it difficult to close up, cause some of that um, cream cheese to melt and run out. We don't want that. Basically, that's it. Stuffing it a little bit more. Grab a toothpick. So, what I do here is I push push this through with the, all the way. Then I'm going to take my kitchen shears. Now we put this in and we don't want to forget to take it out once it's cooked before it is served. Okay. So now that's it. I am going to grab a towel and I'm just going to try to, I'm not going to be uh, pristine about this, but I, I want to get some of the excess off. And, uh, and then I'm going to set it back on my rack, put it in the uh, refrigerator. And again, I'm going to let that cream cheese spilling cool down a little bit. And then we'll be ready to fry these up. We are almost to tasting time. And you know, that's my favorite time of the day. So here's the deal. I'm going to get this second one stuffed up. And I'll bring you back around when it's time to fry this bad boy up. We'll see you then. All right, kids, let's get ready to cook these things. We're one step closer to eat now. Uh, I did the water test just now. I've got a, a video about that. I'll send you a link to or put a link out there for you. Uh, now I'm going to add a little neutral oil. This is grapeseed oil. And I just want to just coat the bottom. Okay. Just coat the bottom. All right. So this is, uh, I can tell by the way it shimmers, it's ready to go. So now I'm going to grab my pork chop and I'm going to put the upside down because that's my presentation side do the same here and i'm going to cook them for you know five to six minutes on each side we don't do uh we don't cook by time we cook by temperature so i'll be testing the temp and also in addition to making sure that the pork chop is cooked through and by the way usda recommendation for pork chop is at 145 or pork in general is at 145 so i am actually going to uh, probably pull these at about 135, 137, and the carryover heat will continue doing the rest of the work. So with that, I'm going to fry on both sides. I'll bring you back when I flip them. Until then, see you around the corner. Okay, we're back, and I have just turned these. Now I'm going to press down on them a little bit to make sure I kind of, I don't want to squeeze too hard because as the protein uh contracts with the heat it's squeezing some of that out i don't want to squeeze too much of the cheese out uh, but so far so good i'm just going to check the temp right here see how we're doing yeah that's perfect uh see how our filling's doing it's the filling needs still needs to come up but it'll it'll do that uh as the second side cooks so i've got just a few more minutes and um when i bring you back i'll have this plated and then we'll go into tasting time. We'll see you around the corner. All right, my friend, you know what time it is. My favorite ride is time of the day. It is tasting time. So let's get to this. I know the potatoes, uh, look, these are also in French are called pommes puree. Mmm. So silky smooth. Uh, check out the video that I, uh, where I made these because there are some techniques there that you may not have seen before well worth the visit i'll put that where we put our video links but now let's get to the star of the show this uh stuffed pork chop now remember i had brined this so there's no additional salt on this pork and none is needed and uh look at that oh my goodness the juice is just flowing out of that i don't know if you can see that or not but let me get a little of this some of that let's put this in mm. 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 man <laughs> i knew it was gonna be good but who knew that good my goodness that is freaking delicious mm. Mm. delicious Brining the pork chop, it's an extra step. Takes a little space in your refrigerator. 
take some prior planning, but the results are where, oh, but the results are well worth it. So give that a try. Hey, listen, thank you for joining me on this Chef Ranch show. Please make this dish and let me know how well you do with it. And until next time, remember this, a day in the kitchen, it's a day of working any day. We'll see you next time on the Chef Ranch show.